What is going on, gents? It's RPM here, coming at you with another episode of Hockey Mask Time. Now, before I get started, let us bow our heads and recite the HMT motto, shall we? A man will only take so much disrespect. And it's only a matter of time before he finally decides today's the day. Gentlemen, what do we always say when it comes to women and arguing with a man? A woman's mouth can be either her salvation, if she properly controls herself and de-escalates the situation using her femininity, which unfortunately the vast majority of women, especially modern women, have a severe lacking of, or their mouth can be their damnation by trying to act all masculine and believing that I'm going to stand my ground. I'm going to get you told. You're not going to tell me anything. Well, the second was the case in this article that was published on the 6th of November. Man stabbed wife more than 20 times during a fight. You see, ladies, thinking that you got a slick mouth can get you put six feet under. Now, let me just go ahead and say this right here. Woo! A man was arrested after he allegedly stabbed his wife more than 20 times on Tuesday in Lakeland, offlining her. Delji Tyson, 50, has been charged with second degree termination with a weapon, the Lakeland Police Department said in a news release. The stabbing reportedly happened at around 6.32 a.m. after dispatchers received the call from Tyson telling them he stabbed his wife during a fight. Tyson claimed his wife, 46-year-old Sandra Green, was acting erratic before the stabbing happened. The 50-year-old was still at home when officers arrived. Green was found with numerous stab wounds to her upper body, according to officers. Two knives and a gun were found nearby in the kitchen, but officers stated that it did not appear that the gun had been fired during the fight. Tyson also reportedly suffered a stab wound to his arm and a small cut to his finger. Polk County Fire Rescue and the Lakeland Fire Department arrived at the house to provide life-saving measures for Green before taking her and Tyson to the hospital. Green was pronounced deleted a short time later, officers said. While being treated, it was discovered that she had more than 20 stab wounds. After Tyson was treated for minor injuries, he was taken into custody by Lakeland police. Following an investigation, the 50-year-old was arrested, refusing to speak with detectives, requesting details of the stabbing and retaining a lawyer. Well... Well, well, ladies, and I use that term extremely loosely because there are very, very, very few true, actual ladies running around in this society. But this masculine idea that, oh, I'm going to stand my ground I'm going to tell you what's on my mind and you can't tell me anything. No, ladies, no. 
You're not supposed to be that way. Even though society has done a masterful job brainwashing you into believing that you can do that. Why? Because you all know that you have the court of public opinion and the illusion of power is given to you by the state. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. However, when you come across that man or when you push the man in your life beyond his limits and he decides all bets are off, guess what? The same people who give you the illusion of power are going to be nowhere to protect you when that man decides to take matters into his own hands like this guy did. Ladies, you better understand this. You better understand this crystally damn clear. More and more men are getting sick and tired of your mouth. And guess what? They're deciding, you know what? If you're not going to control yourself, I'm going to shut you up permanently. Yeah. And more men are deciding that they're going to put on that mask. Anyway, let's get to that scorecard, shall we? For location, went down in their home. That's going to get a 10. Method of execution, obviously the hot butter knife of doom. We know that's getting a 45. Psychological impact, we're going to give this a 30. And for the brutality factor, yeah, 20 times, yeah, he turned her into a pin cushion. So we're going to give that a 40. So Delji, the disemboweler, Tyson, gets a score of 125. Ladies, I'm going to reiterate. Your mouth can be a source of salvation for you if you decide to tap into your femininity during an argument and just say, hey, you know what? Let's try to de-escalate this. However, we know that that's not the case. Unfortunately, TV, movies, all that propaganda has programmed into you that, yeah, you know what? I can say what I want, which, let's be clear, you can say what you want. However, you're not free of the consequences of what you say. Let's just go ahead and put that on the table. However, no, far too many of you women believe that you're in your masculine and that you're going to be masculine to a grown ass man. We all know can break you in half if we so desire. But guess what? We men are constantly restraining ourselves. Constantly. But there are more men out there who are breaking those restraints. And they're giving you that equality. We keep telling you that our world, the world of man, is truly a violent world. Why? Because we all know as men, there's a time for talk. And if you push a man past a certain line, then guess what? Hey, you ever heard the terms fighting words? Yeah, there's a lot of us men who we have those trigger words that if you say that, then yeah, it's going to get physical right then, right there. But you women, unfortunately, have been brought up in a world where, oh, a man is never supposed to hit a woman no matter what. I don't believe in that. I don't subscribe to that shit. I'm not going to be a, one of these fence riding guys saying, well, no, 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 no. I'm for all equality. And guess what? That You know what that means? These hands are rated E for everybody. So ladies, try me. Try me. More and more men are saying, you know what, ladies? Try me. That simp chip that Winter Soldier program, as BGS would say, that's been deleted. So yeah, I'm going to give you that equality. And guess what? It is what it is. Well, I've rambled on long enough. Read the article. Let me know what you guys think. And once again, to you women out there, 
who believe that you're so in your masculine that you can square up to a grown ass man and think that that man is going to cower to you? No, it is only because we restrain ourselves and that gives you the illusion of you're somewhat bigger and badder than you are. So you better understand this, ladies, and you better understand this crystally damn clear. The power that this system has led you to believe that you have, it is fake, it is false. The only true power that you have is the benevolent restraint of us men. And trust me, that is going out. Feminism. And the idea that we men are just going to let you run over the top of us because you think that we so fear the state that we're going to cower to you and bow to you. Nah, that's going out right along with it. Because I'm going to reiterate, when we men no longer fear the consequences of our actions, we will act. Up to and including lethal action. And guess what? When we snap out, no one's going to be there. It's going to be you, us, and our rage. And we all know who's going to win that battle. It is what it is. That's all I got to say for this one. RPM, I am Murder on my mind, yeah. Losing all my hope, yeah. I'ma do the crime, yeah. Fuck the red or blue, I'ma take the black pill, yeah. Fuck the red or blue, I'ma take the black pill.